Good morning everyone and we are back with another one of our YouTube videos. Today we're going to be talking about the SLP Mohawk skis and there's a lot of things that I want to kind of talk about with these skis. It's not all just everything that they say but it's a, my own personal experience, my own review on these skis and we're going to kind of dive into that in just a minute but to start off with I do want to talk about everything that SLP kind of claims about these skis. They say that these Mohawk skis are kind of the best combination that you can get as far as a crossover ski. When I say crossover ski, I mean that it's perfect for trail and, and mountain riders as well that want flotation. So they've got a nice aggressive bite to them. Uh, they're really predictable, especially on these newer rider forward machines that everything is gone to now. Um, and so if you want to be able to rail down the trail, then these are the skis for you. And then you're also not gonna sacrifice that off-trail performance with this particular ski. So it does excellent in all of the various conditions of riding. Um, overall, it's seven and three eighths inches wide, which is gonna provide an awesome amount of flotation when you're in the powder. Really, uh, I think that that's pretty comparable to say like the Polaris Gripper ski. Uh, the bottom width itself, so you'll be able to see here that we have kind of a kind of a little bit of a lip up, if you will, on each side, and it kind of flares up a little bit, and that's going to give you better control. Uh, but it's also got basically a six-inch wide main bottom to this ski, and that's going to give you excellent trail performance. When you're railing down the trail, uh, a lot of skis you'll find will tend to kind of dart everywhere, and these skis don't do that, especially if you have them set up correctly, if your alignment's right is kind of what I mean, then these skis are not gonna do that. Um, another thing that I wanna talk about is the loop. So the these skis, when you buy them, they come in, you, you can basically order them for whatever you want. So if you want, uh, carbides for really you want some really aggressive carbides you can order those or if you want some really mild carbides you can order those uh, if you want different colored ski loops they have excellent colors of ski loops if you want a different colored ski bottom they have multiple colors of ski bottoms these ski loops on this are virtually indestructible they're lightweight as you can see they I've never had any issues with these ski loops. And like I said, again, you can take and customize that to whatever you want. I have this axis that's lime squeeze and red here. And these, these loops were awesome. These skis were awesome to be able to customize them to exactly what I wanted for this machine. The saddle is completely different from any other uh, company that I've seen. The skis will fit any machine uh, the saddle is what you will switch out to be able to customize it to a different manufacturer like Articat or Polaris or Skidoo. Those different manufacturers, you will just take and order the correct saddle for your machine. So it's not that these skis are limited to one certain type of manufacturer. If you buy a used set of skis, then you, all you need to do is make sure that you have the right saddle and they'll mount onto your machine and then you can customize it from there if you want different loops or different carbides. Uh, so that's an awesome thing. Um, another thing to kind of take note of on this, when I mentioned before that they are seven and three eighths inches wide with a main ski bottom of six inches wide, that little extra wing on each side is gonna really provide that extra flotation and bite in loose snow conditions on or off the trail. So I, I really feel like as I go down the trail, these skis don't dart at all. I mean, they are perfect. Uh, I make sure that I align them. Uh, you can also see on these skis, uh, similar to the like the Polaris Gripper skis, they have what's called the Mohawk Edge on these. And that's why they're called the Mohawk skis. That Mohawk Edge is gonna give you traction, which I've found to be really nice when I'm on a side hill or when I need to tip the sled back over or when I need in really deep stuff and I need to get in front of my sled to dig myself out or something, I can take and step on these skis and I'm not sliding all over the place. And I really like that about these and the Polaris Gripper skis. So that's my own personal opinion on that. 
in order to take these saddles off or these skis off to remove the ski from the machine you take and actually unbolt as you see here the front and the back of the saddle uh, they bolt the carbide everything kind of bolts and smashes together and that takes and uh, bolts that ski to it but you have to do that in order to get the main bolt out of your spindle now let's talk weight wise so lightweight is kind of the name of the game now uh, if we're talking lightweight, they aren't the lightest ski on the market. The Flaris Grippers actually beat them by, I believe, a pound or two. These skis are kind of more of a functional item. Uh, you want to be able to have control of your machine when you're on the mountain. So these skis do an excellent job in every snow condition, um, especially side hilling and stuff. You want to take and cut back up. These skis are going to dig in. And, and do that for you, but they're also gonna float when you want them to float. It's just all about where you position yourself on the machine and these skis are gonna react accordingly to that. So uh, if you were concerned about the lightweight, um, Zollinger Racing Products, we'll give a shout out to them. They have a ski saddle that is gonna lighten that up. And then also I believe Kurtz Polaris has one too. And with either one of those setups, if you wanted to make sure it was light, um, you can purchase those and completely replace your saddle and because these saddles are made out of steel and that'll take care of that issue for you and make it just as light as the Polaris Gripper Ski. These red skis I bought last year and these black skis are this year's and you can really kind of see how nice uh, and durable these skis are. We've had really terrible snow conditions this year. So these skis have actually gone through quite a bit and they still look this good and that's pretty impressive. So all in all, these skis have worked awesome for me. I've never had any problems with them folding back on me. Uh, there's no crease marks in them anywhere. You have to really hit something hard to damage them. Uh, just a really nice durable ski. That basically sums everything up. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Uh, go over to SLP's website at startinglineproducts.com and get your skis ordered today. Let them know that I sent you. If you give them a call, they'll get you taken care of. And see you on the mountain.